then you enter enter items online what are items actually see there are these are all uh, people soft specific uh, terminology which i will let you know as and when required okay because you have to <coughs> i'm sorry you have to actually um, learn the people soft term terminology mm -hmm. uh, okay. more than uh, uh, the uh, generic uh, this thing impression and uh, the generic feeling that we have the right. uh, terminology here is uh, rather different so yeah. uh, item is something which you actually create uh, yeah. or which is uh, something which you which which is which uh, uh, accrual types okay accrual types it has not uh, been recognized you you haven't received the revenue but you will receive the revenue for it okay so it is called a pending item so when it is the payment is made or the payment is received we say it is a um, item that's all yeah yeah we receiving external pending items i told you na pending item then yeah, define no processing and entering payments how do you actually uh, make the uh, payment process how do you configure the payment system how do you enter the payments these payments i am referring to are the payments that are receivable from the customer to me customer. say for example i have sold something to the customer then how do i actually receive the amount from the customer uh -huh. okay right. then you have a payment worksheet here to make your job e job easier mm -hmm. so this uh, actually indicates how many items are pending from the customer side huh then you can also actually age the receivables how long is it pending then you can actually maintain the items that is once you receive you um, close the account if the entire amount is received from a particular person or a customer you close the account or if there is anything due these things are all possible in the receivables module right <clears throat> then you have this expenses module which is related to travel and expenses reimbursement of employees okay so here you actually set up the employee data or if you have a hrs hrms system in place the employee data automatically flows into the travel and expense module right then how what do you do actually you actually in the first place you create a travel authorization that is you have to take the approval of your boss that you have to travel from say canada to india that is the travel authorization and you take some cash advance from the company for it you are going on a business trip so what you do is you take a cash advance right then once you are back you have come back from india to canada and then you have to actually give the expense report right okay <clears throat> what happens in the expense report you have taken some advance say you have taken 10000 canadian dollars mm -hmm. but you have spent 5000 so you account for those 5000 and the balance 5000 is something which you have to return to the company right okay so it happens this way so all that is taken care of in the expenses module and this expenses module is also integrated with most people soft modules <clears throat> okay yeah, what, and also products is, yeah what is your uh, main area which one like, what is your main area like do you my main that? area is p2p oh p2p okay. okay my main area is p2p but then i am aware of uh, all the modules because i was uh, taking the uh, user trainings and all that so i had to actually uh, go for user trainings I went to Singapore for user training and all these things. Okay. Okay. okay so uh, that is the reason why uh, I had to actually learn some modules for taking the user sessions. Right. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> usually you just uh, you know you just uh, uh, you basically a pro in one module. Correct. Uh, that that's what happens in SAP. I and mean, in SAP there is a saying that if you know one module. Uh, which is, you know, that's about it. You can't really learn anything else. Yes. <laughs> it's, 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 
it's so wide and it's so big. Uh, in uh, USA and Canada, it is like that, uh, Warren. But what happens in India? Uh, you have to be you have to uh, be aware of uh, multiple modules. Oh, okay. Uh, so that is the problem here. Um, you have to be aware of multiple uh, modules then uh, uh, the integrations uh, and what people soft can do actually they um, the uh, client likes to um, make their uh, jobs as easy as possible uh -huh. so we have to we are forcibly uh, learning the modules we are continuously learning the modules we are into learning always but hands-on yeah. is something else and then uh, learning is something else, right? So yeah. my hands-on is on P2P and okay. my learning is O2C and uh, expenses and other modules also. Okay. So if I okay. ask you about any complex situation, would you be able to help me out in yeah. other modules? Uh, other modules, expenses? Expenses, T&E. I mean, Travel and expense. Yeah. If, I choose to, if I choose to go that way, but I don't think so, I'm going to go for T&E. For now, ah, you do one thing. The best method for you is to uh, go for uh, the business process itself. Say, for example, P2P module. Yeah. P2P modules. You have purchasing. You have inventory. Yeah. You have accounts payable. You have general ledger. So all these four modules. Yeah. That is that will be better. At least you will get to know one particular line of uh, business. So. So I thought I can choose three modules, which is probably accounts payable, accounts receivable, and I could add another module. Uh, no, not that way. Oh, so so when you talk about uh, modules, so P to P A is four modules. Uh, you have to get a cl clarification from Kishore for that. Okay. Is Kishore there? I don't think he is available. Oh. <clears throat> but uh, you can choose any module, uh, Varun. I give you that uh, this thing. It's not an issue for me. You choose right. uh, accounts payable, accounts receivable, uh, yeah. general ledger. Okay. Yeah, because I got uh, you know what I got his email and it says I have it right here. Uh, let me just you know. Uh, so we deliver. Yeah. So it says course modules billing, AP, AR. Asset manager, asset mm -hmm. management, and then the GL. Okay. I've got, you, you I've, can, got, you I've, can... got, I've got five choices here, and he he asked me to choose any three. Not an issue. You can choose. You can choose. Yeah, I honestly, I would, I would want to go for all the modules. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> yeah, you can actually speak to Kishore. He will yeah, let you know. I have to negotiate. Yeah. Yeah. I have to bring up my Indian thing and you know make Correct. a share. Yeah, okay. yeah. Then you have this payables, the uh, very popular payables module. You uh, must be knowing about the payables module, right? Yeah, yeah, I have a knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> you have the knowledge. Yeah. So uh, here you define every other thing, your uh, banks, vendors, items, payment terms, payment uh, methods, all these things and then you process the vouchers everything is possible here right right okay right. so you yeah. can create and manage payments you can post accruals you can post payments you can actually push it to a general ledger module the accounting entries that are generated in the payables uh, module you can push it to the general ledger module everything is possible mm -hmm. so uh, yeah were you working with colleges or banks or um, in india or I am working with an IT company, IT company in India, Varun. Okay. Okay. So who's, who's your client? Because not, why I'm asking you, I'm, because have you ever worked with any universities or colleges before? No. I am actually uh, now working for an IT company and I have done the implementation and I am into production support for that IT company now. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, so it is a huge implementation. Uh, say for example 80,000 employees are there so oh, wow. it's a huge implementation and uh, the production support also is uh, a large one yeah so mm. you guys use the ticketing system and whatnot to you know yes so and oh. I am actually uh, I have a team of uh, six to seven members okay 
and I am managing the uh, procurement part. Okay, I got it. I got it. So, uh, so do you use the same chart fields as we Which guys one? probably used? I said, do you guys use the same same chart fields? What, Which what chart one? I'm not able to get you. No chart fields. So chart fields. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we use. So I'm tr what I'm you know what I'm trying to understand here is. Do you guys use the same chart fields as probably we would use in uh, universities or colleges? Correct. Correct. It okay. could be different. See, we have departments now. We just have to yeah. configure departments. We just right. have to configure uh, something else, whatever is valid. Okay, right. project, uh, yeah. some process, Program. something like that. Uh, yeah, you can do that. It's not an issue. I'll let you know how that is done. How you create chart fields actually. Right. So that is basically your chart of accounts. It comes under, it's a part of chart of accounts, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Then this project costing, which I am not aware actually, I have, I have not touched this uh, particular area, project costing and all that. Projects I haven't uh, touched. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, purchasing, you know about purchasing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, so sure. somebody creates a requisition, you uh, take it forward, you uh, create a purchase order, you release it to the vendor, the vendor supplies, then you receive it and then right. you uh, create a voucher, make the payment for it, you can change orders, you can manage orders, you can manage your requisitions, you can manage every other thing here. Okay? Right. Right. Then you? you have these contracts also which I am not aware of, this area is also very new to me. Projects okay. and contracts are something which I have not done. Okay. Either the learning or the uh, hands-on, both. Right. So, so these uh, two things. Yeah, would you cover reconciliation too? Reconciliation, yeah. Bank reconciliation, okay. Then you have this inventory. Inventory module. See here. Put away. The terminology is put away. Put away is actually uh, the receipting into inventory. Mm. So this specialized terminology is something which you should be aware of at any given point of time. Right. Okay. So reservation, picking, packing, shipping, depletion, replenishment, you know everything. All these terms I think you will be knowing. If you are a finance guy, you uh, must have read all these things. Yes, uh, I have yes? a little, yeah. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so that is it Varun, uh, so these are all the modules, you can just discuss the modules with Kishore Okay. and uh, Kishore will get back to me, based on that I will let you know the um, schedule because right. uh, most probably on uh, working day I may not be able to take it for you because I have to go to the office by 7 a.m. and okay. I come back from the office uh, by say around 8.30, 9 o'clock in the evening again. Oh, so it okay. would be very difficult for me to uh, take a session uh, either before or after. Just because this is an introductory session, I said okay. Okay. So, so you can, uh, most probably we will have sessions on uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Will that be fine with you? Saturday and Sundays for how many hours then? Uh, two to three hours. Mm, Saturday, Sunday, two to three hours. That, I am not sure about that. Yeah. Okay, got, on a daily basis also, if we can have it, uh, say at around six a.m. IST. Six a.m. IST would be so around this time. Yeah. Today we had it at around seven fifteen or something. Uh, so your six o'clock would be. Uh, your six o'clock would be. What what time is it right now? Huh? What time is it right now in India? Uh, in India it is 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Also, mine is 7.30 uh, in the evening. So Almost 11 hours, eh? Uh, yeah. uh, no, 12 hours difference. Yeah, uh, sort of. So when you say 6 o'clock, then it's probably uh, it's 5.30 in the evening for me, right? It will be difficult yeah, for you, right? It will be difficult no. for you. No, that's fine. 5.30 is good for me. Okay, yeah. so on a daily basis we will have it from 6 to 7. I'll uh, take you through in detail uh, each uh, this thing 
I'll take you uh, through in detail, okay? And Jay, how much time do you think uh, would it take to complete the uh, the uh, training? Uh, it depends. The kind of process that you are looking for. I'll let you know when I take the module, I'll show you the processes. You can select the process. Uh, based on that, we, I'll let you know uh, how long it is going to take. For example, a single module should not take more than four sessions. So accounts payable should not take more than four. So when I'm four, so when so accounts payable means like B to pay, right? Uh, no, one module means say for example accounts payable. Oh, just account payable. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. So if you talk about uh, procure to pay, then okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because my thing is that I wanted to finish ASAP. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's something that I'm looking for. But yeah, one one hour a day is good, and uh, if you want, uh, if we have time, we can it also by an hour, not an issue. Yeah, no, one hour every day is okay, and probably on the weekends, probably we can extend if you have time, and if I have time, on mutual no. under, understanding, okay. we can do that. Okay, that's okay. That's okay with me. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Jay. Yeah. But how Thanks. was the session? You should give the feedback. I should, sorry? How was the session? The so session was good. The main thing is uh, I have had a few demo sessions with other companies. Okay. Uh, the main problem is it's hard to understand them. Uh, okay. It's not because I'm sure they have a lot of knowledge, but the thing is that they're not able to, you know, express uh, what they want to say. Okay. You, know what I'm, you know where I'm getting. How is the expression here? Uh, how is my explanation? And oh, my no, language? yours, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm coming to now. So yours is, I mean, I don't have any problem understanding you. Okay. So it, was, it was, I mean, it was, it was pretty good. It was awesome. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't okay. have any problem. And I, I mean, while you were taking me through every sub module, I can, I can judge because I have a little knowledge about uh, ERP, how it works, so I can, I can, uh, you know, uh, uh, I can see that you have a lot of knowledge about PeopleSoft. Okay. So overall, the session was really good. All I got to do is just negotiate about the price, and I think I can do it with Kishore. Uh, okay. Right, and uh, Jay, where, where are you, in India are you from? Where are you? No, where in India are you from? Uh, actually from uh, Hyderabad. Oh, okay, okay. But do you speak Hindi by any chance? Hindi? Yeah. Uh, I speak Hindi also. Not an issue. Oh. Okay. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You talk Hindi mein baat karte hai, Varun ji? Yes, absolutely. I speak Hindi. I speak Hindi. Okay. 